Hello everybody, it is your boy, Nicky Muge. And we're actually uh, starting up a new YouTube channel here dedicated to one of my favorite hobbies, motorcycle riding, biking. Um, my goal is to just make vlogs throughout the season, kind of just go over my bike. So today's video, I want to just go over my bike, let everybody know kind of what I've done to it, actually what bike I have, what I've done to it, the different mods. New channel, not sure what I'm gonna call it yet either. So if you have any suggestions, put it down below in the in the comment section there. So let's just get into the bike and we'll go over and, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is and when I got it, what I've done to it. So this is a 2021 Harley Davidson Sportster Iron 1200 NS, I believe. It's the iron version. So they used to make the 883s in iron, not the 1200, but they made a 1200 version of it now. Um, so I actually bought this brand new mid-season last year, 2021. Um, I think I bought it in May or June. So I guess not mid-season, but at the beginning of the season I bought it. Love, love, love the bike so far. Um, nothing but good things to say about it. So this is the Vivid Black, I believe, is the color that I got it in. Um, as you can see, and I'll walk you around it, I've done several things to it so far. So let me uh, give you a quick little walk around. Especially over here, you'll notice that there are some modifications. Um, yeah, let's just get started with that. All right, so starting with the front, um, you'll notice that this headlight is in stock. This is a Hogworks, Hogworks, I believe is the brand, Hogworks Halo Maker. So you'll see around it, there's like that LED light around it. Um, also on the stock headlight, there's usually a, the trim around here is like a, kind of like a, a, a matte silver in a way and I didn't really like how it looked so I took this off and I bought a black ring to go around it straight from Harley um, I think it just looks it looks really nice it's kind of a nice little touch to it because my goal is to kind of make it kind of as blacked out as possible so little things like that little customization here I changed out the blinker caps cheap like 10 bucks off of Amazon super easy to install and again I've done all this work all this work myself so if I can do all this stuff you guys can do it too also change out the handle grips here so these are Arlen Ness I think they're like the knurled curl I don't even know knurled curled whatever grips they're cheap cheap like 60 70 bucks um, with a little red accents to match totally worth the money changed out the gas cap got this straight from Harley uh, just a blacked out gas cap because it usually comes with, like that chrome same color as the headlight ring I was talking about didn't like it so I got the black um, gas cap seals nicely you want to make sure you don't get a cheap one you get a good one because you don't want gas to be leaking out of it causing all sorts of problems on to the bottom here um, you'll see that these aren't these are aren't stock here these are made by thrash and supply they're their militant foot pegs so bought these last year great 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 investment these are they're super sturdy there there's more more room to put your foot because the stock ones are very skinny so i got the thicker ones and i also got the matching shifter knob peg pretty easy to install took me maybe 15 20 minutes and then the derby cover i also changed out got this straight from harley's website as well there are millions of these to choose from i like kind of just the classic plain look so i went for this one here i also bought the dalco willian max swing arm bag great investment for this bike because as you can see and if you know sports there's there's no nowhere to store anything you have to always wear a backpack or something along those lines so i decided to buy this made out of it's not real leather it's like synthetic but it, it, it's a little bit a little bit pricier uh, i think it's like a hundred dollars um, and I'll leave the link to everything down below with prices and everything if anybody's interested. So pretty good amount of space. You have this little thing to kind of lock everything into place. So on this side, this is where the fun begins. So I'll start from the top. So this here is a uh, TC Bros Sissy Bar. This is probably, I think, the first or second thing I actually bought for the bike. Um, just think it looks cool. I've seen a lot of a lot of sportsters with it, a lot of bikes in general with it. So I bought this, and then I saw, uh, I was on Instagram one day, and I saw some guy had some wrapping around it. So I figured, you know, maybe I should put something like that, just kind of make it unique. And I bought this, like, leather strapping off of Amazon, just wrapped it around a million times. I think it looks pretty cool. Then on to the seat. So this is an awesome seat. This is a drag specialty seat. I was kind of going between this one and the um, Saddleman seat. 
Now, the reason why I went with this one is no reason, no, nothing against Saddleman, but I wanted my seat kind of quickly, and I wanted it, um, you know, for the summer and whatnot, and Drag Specialties had this in stock, and this is exactly how I wanted it, the black leather with the red stitching just to match the tank. And Saddleman was going to make that for me, but it was all custom, and they were out of stock, and they weren't going to be ready for probably a couple of months. That would be like mid-season at that point. So I figured, you know, it's probably very similar. So purchased this one, came within a week, and I put it on, and I've been loving it ever since. Very comfortable. Um, definitely get something to get used to. It's a little bit harder than the stock seat, but um, I'm a shorter guy, and the seat's a little bit thinner. So it's it's just it sits. I sit a little bit better on it now that I have this seat. So I'm very happy with it. On to the exhaust system. So this here is a Vance and Hines short shot staggered exhaust system. Got it in the black. They sell it in black and chrome. I believe chrome is the other option. I wanted to go black though, so I did that. So putting these on, you also want to make sure that you change out the exhaust port gaskets. So I bought some Vance and Hines gaskets. Threw those in as well. Um, took me a couple hours to actually complete the project there. Um, again, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, this is my first time actually working on bike, or on my bike, my own specific bike, and I've had a bike for years before this and never really touched it. So this is the first time I'm actually doing the work myself. So, like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. A little bit of YouTube. Make sure you have the right tools, obviously. Had to spend some money on some tools, but now I have them. Um, totally worth it. Totally worth it. And then I also put this on. This is an Arlen Ness Big Sucker Stage 1. It's a Stage 1. Uh, it sounds really cool. looks really cool. Um, pre pretty easy to install. Took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to put on there. Be careful, though, when tightening up the, the, the nuts in here because you can over-tighten and strip. And I made that mistake. <laughs> I made that mistake, so we had to fix it. But um, all in all, I think these mods are awesome. And along with these two parts right here, you always want to make sure that you tune your bike. So I went and I bought a Vance & Hines Fuel Pack FP3 Auto Tuner. Very, very easy. Basically, you pop off the, the cover that where the battery is, and there's a uh, tuner, like a slot. Plug that in. Then there's an app on your phone that you have to download. It finds it via Bluetooth. You tell the app that you have. So for my, my example, I have a... A high flow air intake and I have a uh, Vance and Hines short, sh um, short shot staggered exhaust which cool because it's a Vance and Hines system I found them immediately plug those you know those specs in and about 10 minutes later it was uh, good to go and then last but not least just any any little things um, that I thought would look cool like for example these red uh, tire stems that you would call them whatever they're called uh, added those onto that same with the front um, but I think that's really about it. So I mean, I mean, I made this bike mine. It's it's unique to me. It's everything I everything that I wanted. Did all the work myself. I feel very proud of myself, and um, I think it looks looks pretty nice. Catches your eye for sure. Actually, one thing that's free. So for any Sportster owner, or I think any Harley, maybe um, these these mirrors come up here. They come stock on the top. So a free mod is just unscrewing it, flipping them to the other side, and putting them underneath. I think it looks very, very slick. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. Oh, what I also did too is bought myself one of these things, an AirTag, because this key's very small. And I've lost it like 10 times already. Now I won't lose it anymore. I love how you can hear the air intake now. When you, when you really re when you rev it, you can hear it kind of sucking in the air. It sounds super cool. So all in all, very, very happy with the bike, how it's turning out. Um, don't know what else I want to do to it. I think I'm good to go now. I think I've done everything that I wanted to do to it. So yeah, if you have any suggestions, any other sports owners, any other motorcycle owners out there, if you have any suggestions for me, anything else cool that I can do to it, that's easy. Um, 
by all means, throw it down in the comment section. Uh, also, if you have any questions on anything that I've done, please feel free to reach out to me through the comment section. Be more than happy to, to help you out. Um, I've said this a million times, but I am no motorcycle mechanic, and I was able to get all this all this done correctly. Myself, with a little bit of help and a little bit of YouTube, I was able to take care of that. Um, so you learn a lot, and it's a lot of fun, and it's it's my bike. I've done all the work to it. So we'll, we'll uh, take you from there. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.